Hi, my name is Giovanni Malta and I'm building King's Landing from Game of Thrones on The Sims 3. So, first of all, I want to say that English is not my first language. I'm Brazilian, so I speak Portuguese, and because of that, I want to apologize if I make some mistakes. But I really need to do this video this way because a lot of people that follow this project don't speak Portuguese. So, I really need to try to make you understand me. But let's talk about the city now. So, how can you see? A lot of things have already been done. And I'm working on this for more than a year and a half now, I think. There's a lot to do yet, but every day I get closer to the end. Now you're seeing the city walls, and even the majority of the lots are inside, there's plenty of them outside, like the Dragon Pit, a Nectary. I actually don't know how you call it in English the place that the Sims produce nectar, but I think you know what I'm talking about. And of course, a village for the Sims that want a peasant life, just going to town once in a while to sell their harvest. Let's see some lots now, shall we? I will put an image in the video for the people who didn't watch the show. So, here we have the Great Staff of Baylor, one of the great slots that I ever built. Originally, a set should have 7 towers, but in the Sims that's almost impossible, so it has 8. That's fine. It worked as a cemetery for now, maybe I will change it later, but I think it's nice because we have some secrets down below. By the way, this world isn't just for the people who watch Game of Thrones, it's for everyone who wants to play in a medieval world with a little bit of fantasy. And now, talking more about the buildings, the majority of them it's like this one, with a playable space and another decorative to give the impression of a huge city, without compromising your computer. This lot, for example, is a tower in the flip button. Your sims can come here for drink, eat, socialize, and have some fun. And this one, it's the spa. In the first season of the show, it appears as the little finger brothel. How can you see now? Here, Ned Stark and Jamie Lannister had a very unfair fight. But I promise that Kingsland streets on The Sims are completely safe. The wrapped hole is in the basement, so it doesn't affect the visual of the city, and this makes the entire building completely playable. I don't know if The Sims 3 has any mods to transform this in a real brothel. Maybe there is, and if you want to mod your game, that's fine. And I think it's funny too, but in the official version, that's just a spa. And this is the Alchemist Guild, it appears briefly during the second season, but only the inner tunnels, so I did the exterior in the best possible way based on my imagination, and it works as an elixir consignment store. I also took a lot of inspiration from the books. At the moment I'm reading A Dance with Dragons, but the world of ice and fire is the best to read about the city. Even though it looked different between Dubrovnik, the city where it was filmed King's Land in the show, and the city described in the books. In the tunnels we have a little bit of wildfire, be careful here. This is the City Watch Training Center, or the Gold Clocks if you prefer, and it's one of the few lots where there is CC content. I was trying to build a world without them, but I realized that it's impossible because of the thematics. But I promise there are just a few, and all of them will be available with the King's Land to download. Here is where happens the fight between the Mountain and the Viper. I'm still traumatized by that. And here's the Red Keep library, it's unfinished, but it's a huge lot, completely playable, so it's taken me a long time to build. By the way, a few expansion packs are needed to play in the city. They are World Adventures, Ambitions, Late Night, Generations, Pets, Supernatural, Seasons and Island Paradise, and just one stuff pack, Outdoor Living. But you also need Dragon Valley and Monte Vista from the Sims 3 store. I think you can understand why I need that. And going all the way up to the other side of the map, there is this small village that I talked about early. Here we have a medieval inn that you can use in so many different ways. Maybe as a traveler, or someone in the story of a legacy challenge, or even like the owner. You decide. And with this beautiful view, I just want to show you the small step that the villagers can come to pray without going to town. By the last in this video, we have the square right behind the great staff of Baylor. If you have Monte Vista, it will be functional, and you can sell your harvest to the people of King's Landing. So, first of all, I want to thank all of you that are seeing my videos and interacting with me. It's very important to a content creator to see that someone is interested in his job. And you can find me here in this channel, but also at the Modi Sims forum, where I post updates more frequently. And feel free to talk to me on Instagram too, all the links are in the description. If you liked this video, let me know, and please subscribe to my channel to don't lose any future content. I hope to see you soon with more of King's Landing, and maybe we can build Winterfell, Highgarden, Dorne, and all of the other kingdoms of Westeros on the Sims in the next few years. So guys, wear masks, and stay safe. 
Bye.